Chris Tucker, the actor who skyrocketed to fame with his charismatic performances, recently opened up about his noticeable absence from Hollywood. In a candid chat with V103, Tucker shed light on his reasons for stepping away from the limelight. It's not every day that a star of his magnitude chooses to take a back seat. So what's the real story behind this? The Hollywood scene was left buzzing when Chris Tucker, known for his dynamic presence in the Rush Hour series, abruptly faded from the spotlight. This departure sparked curiosity. Was it about financial dissatisfaction with Hollywood or something deeper? Some speculated that the relentless demands of showbiz might have overwhelmed him. So what really happened? Tucker's career had been a thrilling ride, from his early days on Def Jam to becoming a familiar face in blockbuster movies. His ascent was rapid and remarkable. However, following the Rush Hour series, which skyrocketed his fame and fortune, Tucker took an unexpected turn. He stepped away from Hollywood's shimmer. I wanted to do more. That wasn't enough for me, he said. His decision wasn't merely about slowing down. It was a quest for something more substantial. Even as one of Hollywood's highest paid actors, Tucker sought experiences beyond the scene's allure. His filmography, particularly after Rush Hour, is notably sparse. Earning over $40 million for two films granted him the freedom to pursue his own path. Perhaps, Tucker desired a life less defined by the glitz of Hollywood. He chooses to explore the world, delve into humanitarian efforts, and enrich his perspective on life. It ain't just about me being the biggest comic or actor in the world. It's about becoming somebody to give to the world, to inspire in some kind of way. Tucker mused in an interview with My Classic ATL. Another key factor in Tucker's life choices has been his upbringing in a strict Christian household. Growing up in a Pentecostal Christian family, with his parents as devout members of the Church of God in Christ, his religious beliefs have significantly influenced his outlook and decisions. My mama, man, she didn't play. She made us go to church, Tucker reminisced, highlighting the impact of his upbringing. Financially, Tucker hit a high note with a Rush Hour franchise. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he raked in at least $50 million from Rush Hour alone, which, when adjusted for inflation, balloons to roughly $65 million. This financial success catapulted him to the status of the highest paid actor in Hollywood at one point. This move, intriguingly, came after a profound rediscovery of his Christian faith in the late 1990s. This wasn't just a subtle shift. It dramatically changed the course of his career. Tucker began to choose projects that resonated with his deep and religious convictions, steering clear of roles that conflicted with his beliefs. In one of his interviews with Straight, Tucker opened up about how his faith meshes with his comedy. Being a Christian helps me in comedy. I have to talk about other stuff. Most comics go for the easy laughs with cussing or raunchy jokes. I have to dig deeper to find humor that's funny and not raunchy. It's harder. But I like the challenge, he said. It's not every day you hear a comedian embracing such a perspective, is it? Fans have been clamoring for Tucker to reprise his role as Smokey from the 1995 hit Friday. Yet, Tucker has been clear about why he hasn't returned. His religious beliefs have had a significant influence on his decision making. Back then, one of the reasons why I didn't do the second one was because of the weed, he explained, underlining how his faith shapes his choices. Even Ice Cube, who was eager to have Tucker back for the next Friday movie, shed light on the situation. They they were ready to offer Tucker a whopping $10 to $12 million for the sequel. However, Tucker, sticking to his convictions, declined the offer, not wanting to engage in an on-screen marijuana use or profanity. During a GQ interview in April 2023, Tucker revisited the topic of his departure from Hollywood. He spoke about the character of Smokey, saying, That character became such a great character. I don't want to mess it up unless it's really something good, something that could really make it better. Chris Tucker, known for lighting up the big screen, has been on an entirely different journey lately. He's been globetrotting, exploring various corners of the world not just once, but multiple times. Imagine the stories, the connections, and the friendships he's forged across continents. 
But it's not just about sightseeing for Tucker. He's been deeply involved in humanitarian efforts globally. This constant engagement has been more than just a pastime. It's been a journey of personal growth and self-discovery. Tucker has spoken about the importance of having a life outside the glitz of Hollywood. I think it's good when you can go away and have a life outside of the business, a lot of it. Art imitates life, so you gotta have a full life to do great work, he said. This perspective shows a side of Tucker that seeks depth and fulfillment beyond the movie set. It's an approach that looks for authenticity in his art, reflecting real-life experiences. Addressing some misconceptions, Tucker clarified that while his faith is important, it hasn't been the sole dictator of his career moves. Contrary to some reports, he's not as rigid in his role selection as some might believe. While he may avoid roles that heavily feature drug use, his spirituality isn't the only lens through which he views potential projects. This clarification sheds light on Tucker's balanced approach to his career and beliefs. Isn't it fascinating how Chris Tucker's journey reflects a quest for a richer, more rounded life rather than just a star-studded career? It's a reminder that even for those in the limelight, there's a world beyond the camera that's just as important if not more so. Tucker's path is a testament to the value of personal growth, genuine connections, and meaningful experiences in shaping not just an actor, but a person. Chris Tucker, the man who once ruled the comedy roost in Hollywood, is poised for a grand comeback. In a recent chat with GQ, he enthusiastically declared, I definitely want to work. I definitely want to work constantly now. Picture this, after a phase of exploration and growth, Tucker is raring to dive back into acting with renewed vigor and passion. Behind the scenes, Tucker has been busily collaborating with a varied team of writers, producers, and directors. He's brewing up something special, though he's keeping the details under wraps for now. Imagine the buzz when he reveals his next big project. Rumors are swirling about a potential streaming comedy series, which, if true, would be a delightful surprise for his fans. For Tucker, it's no longer just about being the biggest name in comedy or Hollywood. His ambitions have evolved. He aims to be someone who leaves a positive imprint on the world, a source of inspiration for others. And he's not just sticking to acting. He's got his sights set on directing, producing, and writing as well. There's even talk of sharing his life story through a book or a movie. How cool would that be? The exciting news doesn't stop there. Chris Tucker has already made his return to the big screen in the film Air, playing Howard White, a key Nike executive in Michael Jordan's legendary journey to securing his iconic Nike deal. This role is a notable shift from his previous comic avatars, showing a new dimension of his talent. What's interesting is how Ben Affleck, the director and co-star of Air, brought Tucker on board. Over the years, Affleck had expressed a desire to work with Tucker. When the opportunity came, he didn't just talk the talk, he walked the walk. He reached out to Tucker for this special role in Air. In the film's development, Michael Jordan himself played a role in shaping the narrative. According to Tucker, Jordan insisted on having Viola Davis play his mother and including the character of Howard White because of his crucial role in Nike's history. Tucker's aspirations don't just end with acting. He's expressed a desire to bring the wisdom and experiences he's gathered from around the world into his movies, drawing inspiration from classics like Casablanca, The Color Purple, and Coming to America. His future plans include writing a book and potentially translating his life story into a movie. So there you have it. Chris Tucker is back with a plethora of ideas and a fresh perspective. He's not just returning to acting, he's aiming to contribute something meaningful and lasting. With Chris Tucker's intriguing journey from Hollywood's heights to a more introspective path and now his promising return, his story unfolds like a captivating tale. What do you think drove Tucker's decisions? And what impact will his comeback have? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights.